The pools are all permanently closed at the Cosmopolitan. Just kidding. Hey guys, this is your Cosmopolitan Spring Update. Sorry it's a little late, as spring has already begun, but I've been trying to use my comp nights at the Cosmo for the last month, and I couldn't get a room because all the dates I wanted to stay were blacked out. I had a feeling my room deals were going to get a lot worse once the MGM took over the Cosmo, and unfortunately I was right. Me and the wife used to be able to get four free nights anytime we wanted, any day of the week, but since the MGM officially took over, we don't get any free weekend stays anymore, and even during the week has been impossible to book. So here I am at the Cosmo on a Wednesday, the only day they'd let me use my comp. Have your Cosmo room comps gotten worse since MGM took over? Let me know in the comments. While I was doing some filming in the lobby, the check-in line has started to get long. I better get in line before it gets worse. So, this is a free night in the Chelsea Tower in a city room, which is Cosmo's cheap room. Cheap being relative, these cheap rooms have been going for well over 300 a night during the week, and even a lot more on the weekends. You never know what kind of city view you're going to get in a city room, but I was lucky last time, and I got lucky again this time. I'll show ya. 46th floor, with a view of the Bellagio Fountain. Oh yeah! One of the best things about the Cosmo is your personal refrigerator. There's one in every room, so you'll always have a place for your food and drinks. Also in every room, a mini bar. If you'd like to spend $30 for a beer or a shot, build immediately upon removing it from the fridge. The room was very clean, which you'd think is a given staying in a high-end strip hotel. But I stayed at the Park MGM not that long ago, and the room was a little gross. I made a video about that. You can check it out on my channel. Here's that awesome view. Gonna be even better at night. Also, I had this great little terrace. But no door to it. So, I didn't get to use it. All right. Pools! I rushed down to the Chelsea Pool to see if I could show it to you, but the Chelsea Pool is open from 8am to 6pm every day as of right now, and because I checked into my room late, I didn't get to the Chelsea Pool on time, so I hurried over to the Boulevard Pool to see if that one was open any later. But the Boulevard Pool is also open from 8am to 6pm every day, so I'll have to show you these pools tomorrow, and I will before this video ends. For those of you who like to mix your clubbing, partying, and pools, the Marquee Day Club Pool is back open and ready for business. From 11 a.m. to 6 p.m., Thursday through Sunday. The headliner DJ usually comes on around 3 p.m. This is a view of the Marquee Day Club Pool from my room last summer. Things get a bit crazy in that pool. Okay, I had no choice but to go to the Chandelier Bar because it's one of the best bars to play a slot at and get a comp drink. For those of you who saw my update about the slot machines at this bar, you'll know you no longer get a comped drink the moment you slide money into the machine. They make you play the machine a bit first. Which, let's be honest, kinda sucks. But, I wanted to clarify something I found out this time. You do not have to wait till the light turns green on every machine to get a comp drink. Some of the machines at the bar have a red light, and when it turns on, your drink is comped. If you sit down and play at this bar, just ask the bartender to clarify what kind of machine you're sitting at. Thankfully, they still make one of the best comped old fashions on the strip. So, at least there's that. Ooh, Buffalo Link. 
I got a jackpot hand pay on a Buffalo Link machine not too long ago. If you want to see it, the video is posted on my channel. These guys hit a jackpot hand pay too. They were waiting to get paid out. Nice one, guys. I don't go to high-end dining without my wife, so it was time to hit block 16, which is the Cosmos version of a food court, an upscale food court. And because I'm a creature of habit, I went to Bang Bar for my favorite, the Spicy Pork U Wrap. Awesome. Here's the view from the room at night. Ah, the Bellagio Fountain. For being such a busy night in Las Vegas, I was surprised that the casino seemed kind of empty. I messed around at the machines for a bit. Then I tried to get a slice of pepperoni at Secret Pizza. Oh, the casino is empty because everyone's at Secret Pizza. This place needs a new name because there's nothing secret about it. This line is at least a half hour long, maybe longer. So I went for a walk on the strip instead. The moon was full, and the temperature is very tolerable right now. So the evening was really pleasant. A classic night in Las Vegas. When I got back to the Cosmo, I tried Secret Pizza one more time. And score! Got this slice in about three minutes. But it was midnight. Okay, pools! The Chelsea pool is always a little less crowded than the Boulevard pool and is heated right now to the low 80s. The boulevard pool went from being an ice skating rink in the winter, back to a pool. It was a little windy that day, but this pool is also heated to the low 80s, so that's nice. It didn't yet have the crazy summer crowds, which will inevitably show up. Pro tips. Just off the boulevard pool is Overlook Grill, a really pleasant spot to get a burger. And there is a Starbucks at the front of the Cosmo, but I highly recommend getting a coffee at Vabene in the back of the casino. The coffee is worlds better. I'll be back with a Cosmo summer update in a couple months. Thank you for watching, and please hit the like and subscribe if you appreciated this free content. And I'll see you soon.